Eyewitness News continues to track Sandy's impact. One of the areas in Rhode Island's hardest hit area by the storm is still a work in progress. It will be months before Mesquamica get back, gets back to normal. People from all over the state are doing their part to make sure Westerly's recovery is as fast as possible. Eyewitness News reporter Pete Mangione has the details in the Pinpoint Weather Yard. A lot of the sand has been cleared away. Most of the roads are passable, but there's still a lot of work to do in a very hard hit part of Westerly. Piece by piece, this AmeriCorps crew helps clean up the mess just across the street from Esquamacate Beach. It is a lot of hard work. It's um, been really productive. They are just a small part of a generous group of volunteers who are more than happy to help out this town in need. Caswell Cook is spearheading the massive effort. I just got the numbers in. The numbers are so far to date, not including today, we've had 673 volunteers and we've cleaned 169 properties. So that's really impressive. The effort is made possible by Serve Rhode Island and other local organizations who are helping with critical tasks like separating debris so it can be picked up and hauled away. As AmeriCorps members, you know, we're, we're supposed to be doing this kind of work and really coming into communities and helping out. Even more help will be out this weekend which should push the total number of volunteers up to around 900. So when will the job be finished? We will have Spring Fest in May. No matter what, at the State Beach, we're going to have Spring Fest, and the rides will be here, and the, and the entertainment will be here. And if you want to help out, you can donate to the Musquamacut Relief Fund. We've posted a link on our website at WPRI.com. I'm Pete Mangione, Eyewitness News.